Are hierarchies evil? Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Future in Five. My name is Jacob Morgan, and this is where I share my thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work, usually in five minutes or less. Now, today's topic is one that I get asked to comment on frequently in conferences and events, even online, uh, Twitter and Facebook. And people always ask me what I think of hierarchies, if hierarchies are important. And it's a good question, and there are a couple parts to this idea of, of hierarchy and if they're indeed good or bad. Now, there are a couple different things to think about when we think about a hierarchy. Now, when most people think of this type of a structure, they think of, you know, the usual pyramid, which is exactly what a hierarchy is, and they think that everything comes from the top down. In other words, information flows top down, um, you know, tasks, how things should get done, everything gets flown, uh, everything flows from the top to the bottom. Uh, to the top to the bottom and that's usually true and when it comes to hierarchy the actual structure itself is something that many organizations uh, need in fact there were studies that were, that were done that show that in some sort of a hierarchy in some sort of a structure employees actually perform better than they do without one uh, the graduate school over at Stanford did a study where they looked at a couple they, they had participants look at pictures of um, of people, and they arranged them in different orders. And they were able to memorize the order of people when they were arranged in a hierarchy more effectively than they were in any other pattern. Now, it doesn't mean that hierarchy is good though. Now, the important thing to think of when it comes to hierarchy is that there is a structure for hierarchy and there is an actual way for communication and collaboration within a hierarchy. Now, from the perspective of understanding where you fit within an organization and how relationships um, you know, fit within an organization. From that perspective, just from kind of a visual, a hierarchy isn't necessarily a bad thing, provided that communication and collaboration flows up and down the chain. Uh, most organizations in the world have some form of hierarchy. Now, at the same time, I've never had an organization come to me before. I've never had an executive call me up and say, hey, Jacob, you know what we really need is we need more hierarchy. We need more layers. We need to improve our, our hierarchy. Uh, Every time somebody calls me up, they always, or every time somebody emails me or gets in touch with me, they're always trying to figure out a way to flatten out their organization. Now, oftentimes that means removing unnecessary layers within the company, but really what they're trying to say is we want to improve communication and collaboration within our company. We want to make it so that even an entry-level employee is able to talk to the CEO. We want to make it so that people from sales can talk to people from development. It doesn't matter. We want communication and collaboration to be open throughout the entire company. So <clears throat> is hierarchy evil? Well, if you structure your company in a way where um, it is hierarchical and it's a very strict hierarchy where communication only flows top down. Yes, completely evil. I agree with you. That should be abolished completely. It doesn't make any sense. However, if we're talking about hierarchy from the perspective of laying out relationships in a certain way so that people can see where they stand within an organization, how relationships fit together, uh, what they need to do to advance to the next level, so to speak, but communication and collaboration flows throughout the company, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And even when we think of completely flat organizations, for example, Valve is a gaming company. They're a completely flat company. Um, in other words, there are no managers, nobody reports to anybody, it is completely flat. And it's exactly what it sounds like. But even in those types of environments, informal hierarchies get created. So you don't have a strict hierarchy as far as a org chart that everybody looks at, but if you throw a group of people together in a room, it usually happens that somebody ends up taking charge and becoming the leader and an informal hierarchy gets created. So it's something that's a little bit hard to avoid within organizations. So, you know, something to think about when we think of hierarchy versus not having a hierarchy. Now, I'm all in favor for some sort of a structure. In fact, one of the things that I talk about in my book on the future of work is I provide a couple of different structures that organizations can experiment with. And that's a, a topic for another uh, future in five video. But one of the structures that I think is very common is this idea of creating a flatter structure, not a flat company, but a flatter structure. In other words, you think of a pyramid as a traditional hierarchy, uh, a flat company is, you know, completely flat. 
A flatter organization is somewhere in between, somewhere in between a hierarchy and a completely flat company. In other words, you do still have some structure, but you also have this completely free form way for employees to communicate and collaborate, to share ideas, etc. And a lot of successful organizations around the world have done this. Uh, IBM is a great example where they have some sort of a structure and hierarchy, yet at the same time, uh, employees are able to communicate and collaborate. I just came back from visiting the, the MuleSoft offices in San Francisco. Again, there is some sort of a hierarchy, but the same thing, people can communicate and collaborate effectively. F5 Networks is another great example. They have around 5,000 employees, large size company. Uh, they, they do have some sort of a structure in place, but again, employees are able to communicate and collaborate. Tangerine Bank, based in Canada, same thing. Um, there is some sort of a structure. Employees can communicate and collaborate effectively. And the list of examples goes on and on and on. Um, the, the big problem that people run into when it comes to hierarchy is that nobody wants to work in an organization or be in an environment where the actual structure and the way that people work match up to that structure. In other words, if you have a pyramid, it doesn't mean that you actually need to work the way the pyramid is structured. In other words, if there is one person at the top, it doesn't mean that that one person at the top has to make all the decisions and that the people at the top um, create all the commandments, so to speak, and pass it down to everybody else. That's nothing that anybody wants. Um, but from a relationship perspective, a hierarchy isn't necessarily a bad thing. And you know, I interview a lot of companies for the podcast, for this video series. And most of the successful companies, the progressive, the forward-thinking companies, do have some form of a structure. So at the end of the day, uh, is hierarchy evil? Is hierarchy good or bad? It depends on how you look at and how you approach hierarchy. If hierarchy is a very strict pyramid, where the way that you operate and the way that you communicate and collaborate is completely top-down, then yes, it is evil. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't think it makes any sense. If hierarchy, if you approach hierarchy from a perspective of just having some sort of a structure from a relationship perspective, but at the same time, information is flowing top down, left, right, you have open communication, open collaboration, then hierarchy isn't necessarily that bad of a thing. Curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think about hierarchy? How is your company structured? Uh, this is definitely a topic that I'll be exploring more here on the podcast and on the blog. Of course, if you want to access more of these videos, get access to more content on the future of work, please check out thefutureorganization.com. I'll see you next time.